Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in our series of cloud data fusion, in previous videos we saw what is data fusion, uh, data fusion introduction and we also created one ETL pipeline to load data from GCS bucket to BigQuery with some complex transformation. Okay, and now in this video we are just going with the multi-cloud. We will be using the CSV file but that file will be in the AWS S3 bucket. So we'll see how data fusion can help us to connect the multi-cloud environment as well and how we can load the data from AWS S3 bucket to the Google Cloud BigQuery with a easy step without writing any single line of a code in the data fusion. Okay. So let me just show you what we did in the last demo. So in last demo we created this GCS2 BQ data ETL pipeline. So this ETL pipeline is just like we were getting the file from the GCS bucket and then with the Wrangler we added some transformation so these were some transformation we added okay so after the transformation like we drop uh, one column then we mask date of birth then we filtered row one particular uh, half of the joining then we added the title case for city then uppercase for city we hashed the password and we also masked the SSN number so these were some transformation we applied on the CSV file and then we loaded that into the BigQuery. So I already shown you the data in BigQuery. Okay, so you will see in BigQuery. Uh, so the date of birth is masked. So we mask the date of birth, and then the uppercase for the yeah. And we filter data based on this half of joining. We filtered only H1 data, not H2, and we also mask the SSN number. Okay and we converted the cities to the upper case that is one transformation just we saw the different different transformation and then we converted the uh, password which is plain text password to the uh, hashed value so if i show you the original file so this is our data so our password was in the uh, plain text format so all password we converted into the hashed values okay just to hide the sensitive data we could mask as well but instead we just converted into hashed value okay so the same thing we are going to do but our data will be in the AWS S3 bucket so I'll just go to the Wrangler I'll just go back and I will just go to the Wrangler and I will show you how we can connect to the AWS okay so first thing we'll go Wrangler and there we have a S3 connection we'll see what things we require to connect to the S3 bucket okay so this was our previous let me close this okay so here we have option as I mentioned multiple options are here this is for default DGC storage for S3 currently we do not see any option because there is no connections okay so I can just click on add connection okay and I can create connection with the S3 so I'll just click on the S3 okay so the S3 connection I can add but what we need to add the S3 connection so let's say first we need name then some credentials okay and if required token so how we can create that so I have AWS project here so I can create one user for this or data fusion okay so let's say I will go to the IAM and I will go to the users so currently I do not have any users so I'll just create one users and I'll just give the name as or data fusion okay just for this demo I am creating this I'll just click on next so here attach policy so this should having access to read data from s3 bucket so I will just search with the s3 and give AWS full access okay next and then I will create users so once user is created I would need few details from this users okay so I'll just go to the security credentials and I will just click on the create access key so I'll just uh, select any of this option they will recommend some best practices I'll just confirm next value I'll just give the data fusion demo create access key and we got this value so I will just copy this okay I will just use here I will paste here I will give the name as well connection name is AWS 3 okay so this connection can be used for other services as well but we added policy only to access the S3 bucket then I'll go back and secret access key I will copy that as well 
okay so this will show mask because this is kind of the sensitive and the region so I will choose the default region which I am using for my S3 bucket okay I select this regions and then I can test connection so it should show me the bucket available there yeah connection is successful it's successfully connected to the AWS so I'll just create connections and then immediately it should list down all the buckets in my AWS account so these three buckets are available so what I will do I'll just uh, go back and I will just create one more bucket for this demo as I mentioned and I will upload the file again in the S3 bucket so I'll just select the three bucket from here I will create one bucket I'll just go with the piece out to okay so these three buckets are displayed here it means we already connected to the AWS for this demo I'll just create new bucket uh, I'll just give the name as a data fusion demo okay and then I will keep most of the option as a default and I'll just create bucket and then I will upload the file once bucket is created uh, bucket name is invalid character okay so it's creating the bucket now bucket the specified name is already taken so bucket name should be unique I'll just use 001 okay now it's okay so this bucket is created now I'll just open and I will upload the user data file which is our CSV file so I'll just go to the upload so add files okay and here I am having sample data file which is having my users data which we just saw so this is our sample data file which is having SSN password uh, and all the users details so this is kind of the dummy data I am using for this demo okay so file is there so let me upload once uploaded then we can connect this to the data fusion okay so currently it is showing only three buckets so let me just go back maybe we can reload just to see the newly added bucket as well okay now we can see our newly added bucket here so I'll just go and connect to the file we are having into this bucket so we are having this file we'll just connect and it will just ask the same kind of the checkbox like enable quoted value use first row as a header I'll just confirm and let's see if we see the data okay so we'll start applying kind of the same transformation currently zero transformation so first I will just uh, drop this column because I don't need this initial so I'll just drop this column okay then I will just go and try to filter on the half of joining so we'll just filter record so currently you can see here h1 h2 both records are here but I want only the h1 record so I will filter filter on this value so I'll just select value is h1 so the will get only the h1 records so it's just like half one and half two for this data okay and then I will add more maybe on the date of birth yeah date of birth will add the transformation so I'll just go here and I want to display only the last four characters I'll just mask remaining characters so just scroll down mask and show last four characters only so your date of birth will be masked here okay date of birth is also masked let's do for SSN as well so SSN let's display the last two characters so 
so uh, we'll do the same for SSN show only last two characters okay so here we displayed only last two characters and password we want to encode okay so here currently it is plain text password so we'll just encode it so we'll just go here and yeah encode so uh, yeah we'll just hash it not include so here you can just choose any of the method so yeah I will choose maybe uh, SHA 256 and just try to see if value will get hashed yeah and you can see the password is now not plain text it is hashed value okay so I think we applied multiple transformation that is enough and uh, let's try to create a pipeline now so it should be a batch pipeline okay and for this the sync is BigQuery so I'll just go to the sync and select BigQuery and after the transformation data should go to the BigQuery so I'll just connect this to BigQuery and click on align but which BigQuery tables and data sheet we should be loading okay so in our BigQuery we already created the data fusion demo data set so we will use the same data set okay but we have to mention that details in the property of the sync so here we have to fill the details of data set project should be tt dev 02 here you don't need to mention anything keep the default values and data set should be data fusion underscore demo okay and the uh, table name you have to give so where is the okay sorry this should be a table name so data set name should be this one and table I can give AWS to BQ okay so this is uh, just check the here so what name we have given user transform GCS so here I will just give uh, user transform AWS or S3 so we will understand which table loaded from GCS and which loaded from the S3 bucket okay so this is the table name so we don't need to create table it will auto create during the job execution and uh, then I will just okay so you can have the insert uh, then partition we don't need any partition and if you need to drop any column you can drop from here as well from the BigQuery so that's it and now you can validate BigQuery sync if no errors we are good to go if any details are missing it will throw an error no errors found okay let's say suppose I'm not giving data set so and try to validate it will throw an error because how it will load the data if you don't know the which query data set to load so you see the one error found so it should be a data fusion score demo okay so well, let's validate again and we'll check if any errors okay no errors found just close it so our I mean the source transformation and sync that is destination is ready so name your pipeline else it will throw an error so I'll just s3 to bq okay save and try to save your pipeline and then deploy your pipeline now so just click on deploy without deploy you cannot run it okay so now status is deployed you can simply click on run to run your pipeline so I'll just click on run okay so it will take four to five minutes to be in the running state now this deployed status will change to provisioning after provisioning it will change to starting after starting it will change to running and then it will change to either failed or successful okay based on the uh, status of the job so currently it's provisioning so you won't be able to see much log but you will see some advanced log for the data proc cluster creation so it will create as we discussed in last call as well at the back end it will create one data proc job and data proc cluster okay so here also you will see the data proc cluster okay so it is creating data proc cluster it will provision and once it is provisioning on the top of the data proc cluster it will execute our job okay so just 
wait for this job to change status to the provisioning state it will take three to four minutes so meanwhile i'll just uh, path forward this video okay now you should see the bigquery schema so it would be starting creating table in bigquery okay so we can check in bigquery so currently there is only gcs table no s3 table let me try to refresh yeah, and s3 table is also created so let's try to see if it loaded the record we can see the schema and we can see the records let's try to query and see if we have desired data which is transform data in BigQuery okay so we'll check the transformation we applied okay so we removed the initial column that is removed then we mask the data bar that is mask then we should check for the SSN number yeah the quarter we filtered so we are having only H1 data not H2 then the SSN, yeah, SSN is also marked, only last two digits are displayed here. And then for the password, so password value are encoded, it's not the plain text password. So this is how we loaded our data. We loaded transform data from S3 bucket to BigQuery. Let's check the job schedule, it should turn to succeed. Yeah, it's succeeded now. And you could see the pipeline this is completely succeeded and you can schedule also from the schedule option okay so you can schedule this pipeline as well and all the status pipeline you can check in the operation tab you can monitor from here yeah so you can see the initial one s3 gcs bucket to BQ and now this is S3 bucket to BQ. So we tested both our ETL pipeline with the extraction data, then transformation, and then load. That's why you will see this is kind of ETL pipeline. So hope it is clear now how we can create the ETL pipeline without using a single line of code in the cloud data fusion. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you again in the next video.